although I really don't want to because I'm stubborn, we'll finish the year in Edmonton. You know, we might as well. There's no point wasting a whole year. And who knows, maybe this GM knows what's good. And we're gonna somehow win the cup here in Edmonton. I do see some trades going on. Edmonton acquired Patrick Kane, Travis Sanheim. And we also got uh, Timothy Lilligren from one of the earlier ones. Okay, hold on. Did I see this last time? I kind of feel like I did. But I have been boycotting recording this because I was just fuming at that GM not trading me. But anyway, yeah, we got Timothy right here. 83 overall, not too shabby. And then Patrick Kane on the second line. He's down to 85 overall, but still loaded with abilities. Thomas not having a great time. He's got an 879 save percentage. Also, his potential is AHL starter. Not too sure what this GM is doing, but apparently he's ready to go in the NHL. He's got the pretzel ability, which is kind of interesting. We had one point, so I just spent it on dependable because we haven't even started this one yet. Our durability and endurance are actually quite low. So currently we have a record of 34, 25, and four. That's good enough for 12th in the NHL. Our individual stats, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, 264 GAA, 914 save percentage, and 27 dubs. So I suppose we'll play three games here in the latter half of the season to finish off and find out who our first round opponent there's no way we don't make the playoffs come on now actually if we didn't make the playoffs i wouldn't be all that upset because then you know screw that gm it's basically what i'm saying los angeles not having a great year 30 30 and 5 24th in the league let's find out what kind of scenario we will be jumping into in the third period it is a 3-2 hockey game fire me vertical so naturally the la kings have victor hedman the be a pro trades have Never cease to amaze me. Players are like, we have Mitch Marner on Edmonton. We don't have Dreisaitl or McDavid, both gone. And also, although the comment will have been made about a week before the Be a Pro where I realized it, there must be a glitch in the game. Maybe it's fixed now. I don't know if there's been another update since. Why are we not scrapping? All right, they can't just go around hurting our players like that. Someone's got to stick up for your teammates. But the ability to choose team masks, uh, what a save, first of all does not exist anymore it just went away so hopefully they bring that back soon because like i said i am rocking the <laughs> emergency backup goalie all white helmet at the moment truthfully though i i don't hate it i kind of like it <laughs> if i'm gonna be totally honest here nice try pool party got a pass in the middle from laffy taffy but no goal was scored now last spinning around in the corner, tries to poke check it off of White, and fails miserably. This guy's pretty quick. He's coming up the ice now. Headmans it to Quinton. Stops up at the dot. Gives it back to White, and... Oh no. Oh no, he's going to the... It just bypassed 4-3 for some reason. That was one of those times where I just pre-accepted it was going to be a goal. And I was pleasantly surprised... That it wasn't 11 minutes remaining here. We've received a few shots, actually, and a few pretty good chances from the LA Kings overall have been generated. But so far, we have risen to the occasion and shut them all down. That was a good shot as well. Managed to get the mitten on that. Yo, we're getting absolutely rinsed right now. That was bound to happen. The LA Kings back at it again. Fiala has it behind the net. Holy smokes, he let that thing fly. Can't believe I actually saved that. Point shot. That will be steered aside. Can we do something here, guys? Like, literally anything. Nice. Okay. That was a clean breakout. I will give you credit for that. And Hatcher Kane enters the zone. Not a great pass, though. I don't know what game it was. It might have been NHL 14. I don't even remember how long ago he was still playing. But in Hockey Ultimate Team, on the first day, I got a Mike Camilleri that was, like, 87 overall. And I was gassed. And the only reason I thought about that, you're probably like, that's so random, where did that come from? It's because I also remember getting a Patrick Kane. And I also don't know what NHL that was. That was scary. Just a little bit. I'm gonna slow things down. Smother it. Be responsible for one second. That was a pathetic shot. But keep doing it, though. Because I will take those easy saves... And what is going- Smother it! <laughs> Holy crap! That was the most dramatic dive of all time. And I'm here for it. I wonder if I can get a good screenshot out of that. That probably looks hilarious. Oh yeah, that's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Here we go. We have the attack going now. 
And we are all over the LA Kings. Hyman walks out and he scores with 2.30 remaining. 16 goals on the year, you know. a boy. That is a massive lead gainer. Fire me vertical, boys. I once again turned into Mickey Mouse for that one. Not too sure why, but we're going to allow it. And I am going to pass that over to Darnie, who's going to headman it to Laffy Taffy. Enters the zone. I like it. Got rocked, but still made the play. Look at the passing. This is phenomenal. The Oh, that was also phenomenal. Great save from Vitek Vanacek. Victor Hedman with that kind of shot. Not realistic. Come on now. I thought Hyman spared us from OT, and then that had to happen. Also, what was going on with Byfield stick right there? That was so weird. No! Yeah, right. This whole season is just one big troll. I swear. Yeah, that rebound should have been... That's on 3-4. That is on 3-4, not me. I will take partial responsibility for my lack of rebound control, but at the same time, you know, I was kicking it away. And our defense should have had that guy... Simply, they did not. And now here we are in overtime. And 3-4 is out there. So hopefully he makes up for his mistake and gets us the dub. We are getting a power play. So this is massive. We got to capitalize immediately. Free team play. Easy peasy. I'm just going to send it over there. I wonder, was that time that I tried to shoot the puck into the net? Like just a glitch? Or did they actually drastically decrease the power of he almost gave that up way too easy but did they d decrease the power of goalie shots or not nah? has anyone else tried to score a goalie goal is it possible man got rocked and he's down and out that's what he gets though for allowing us to get scored on so three four you kind of had that coming it has become a four on four the penalty has been murdered and now Next whistle will be... Why? What was that? Blocker save through the crowd. Not gonna lie. Really not feeling the whole shootout thing. So if we could make some magic happen in the next 10, I will be super excited. Timothy goes to take a shot. That will be blocked. Byfield gets it. We are headed to a shootout. The unfortunate thing is... LA only had 35 shots and what a goal. 3-4... Making up for the error of his earlier ways. Goes in. Just a classic right there. Backhand, forehand. Tucks it above the glove. And now we have Turcotte. Who's going to get flying poke checked? Get out of here. That's my one. Every shootout I get one. And it is now gone. So hopefully Laffy Taffy scores here. And then I just have to... Fiala is coming in. I... Literally did nothing. But I'll take the save. Let's go. 8-8. Eight, eight. Patrick Kane, come on. Patty Kane's got to score. It's like a rule. Apparently not. But if I save this, we take a dub regardless. Here we go. Who am I up against? Is that Quinton Byfield? Yes, it is. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Nothing. You got nothing. Hey, James, how about we don't take a look at the rest of the action going on tonight? That sounds pretty cool to me. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, 15th in the league. They have 33 wins at the moment. Let's see how we simulate against them. Good start. 3-1. I'll just sim this whole game. 4-3. They kind of mounted a comeback there, but we still took a dub. And now my lineup status is injured. Probably not a long injury, I wouldn't think. Definitely not, because I'm literally still playing. James! Zzz. We're running it back. Playing the Ducks again. Back-to-back -back games against the Mighty Ducks. That's a pretty solid start, I guess. Okay, 1-1 one, one hockey headed into period numero 3. Uh, why is... Like, what's going on with the center of the ice there? Do the Ducks play in a CHL arena or... What's happening? Nice try, Lindholm. But that will be kind of saved. I mean, it didn't go in, so it definitely counts as a save, but... Not the most impressive thing in the world. You know, if I would have caught it and just kept it in there, cool, but I didn't. So instead, I pop flied it over the net. I'm just happy it didn't go in. I wonder if I'll ever be able to record another video again where I just, you know, am able to talk properly. That would be nice. Yeah, right. Get out of here, Lindholm. 
That's the second time this game. Want to make it three? Instead, he's going to get dropped in the slot. Battle behind the net. Kicked over to Darnell Nurse, and he's going to make no mistakes. Headmans it up to the Nuge, who's able to just skate past that defender. That was weird. We better not go to another OT. I'm actually going to be devastated. I know I looked at the shots, too, and I think it was in the 20s or very close. So, that being said, save percentage looking like it's going to be pretty good here if we can just not let in goals. <laughs> I know that sounds pretty obvious, but hey, maybe some people didn't know that's how you get a good save percentage. Fun fact of the day, uh, letting in less goals also helps your GAA. So if you didn't know that, then there you go. Ho oh, ho! Why do I get so many good thumbnails in the same video every time? That was tipped. But yeah, for thumbnails, it's always... For some reason, like, when it rains, it pours. If I get what... Maybe I'll just take that for the next video, you know? We are down to about seven minutes left in this third period. No teams have been able to break through yet in this period. Definitely not from lack of trying, though. There's been some very, very critical chances for both teams. Goalies playing well at the moment. I think they still have John Gibson. Troy Terry centers it to Lundestrom. Where is it? Where is it? Nice battle. I like it. Gets the shot off, but it was not a threatening shot by any means. In fact, I would say it was quite sad. Get out of here, Geeky. I severely doubt you're scoring from that angle. I thought he was about to tee one up from the line. Tails. Did they watch tape? Do I let goals in from there frequently or something? What's going on? It has been nonstop pressure from the Ducks. We got to get this puck out. Thank you. Pool party has it. Enters the zone. Immediately gets angled off, but somehow still gets past Gibson. Gonna put it in the mitten, though. We're headed to overtime again, aren't we? 15 seconds remain. We have the puck, but not for very long. Kane gets stapled against the boards. Pesci headmans it to Borgo. Toe drag, I like it. Five seconds left now. Shot down low. Gibson saves it. Yeah, three on three, here we come. Maybe the, oh, what a save. I mean, I, that's what it says at center ice, so I'm just saying what I'm reading here, but the Honda Center is hosting the Memorial Cup, which would be weird because it's Anaheim and the CHL stands for Canadian Hockey League. Just saying, I don't know if they do that or what. Really doubt it though. Whoever makes the decisions for the CHL was just like, you know what? It's just too cold here. Let's just go to California. Have the tournament there. I guess it's not really a tournament. I, well, I don't know. It's like playoffs, really, but it's kind of like a tournament in a way. Terry steps in again. Another save. Troy is certainly trying to get his team the dub, but is not succeeding for the time being. We got Holloway, Pesci, and Kane out there. I got faith. These guys are going to score. Just wait for it. Kane has it along the boards. Passes it down low to Holloway. Shot will be rejected by Gibson. Battle in the corner. Morgan. Nope, that is Connor. Pesci. Had a clear path to the net. Decided he was going to pass it, though. Bold strategy. What a save by Jonathan. Oh, ho, ho. he just got rinsed. Guy raised his head. Oh, my word. They are setting the tone going into this shootout. Couple big hits there to end this overtime period. And I got the last laugh, though. So, haha. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Will Borgo score again? How many? That has to be easily, uncontestably, don't think that's a word, the worst attempt I have ever seen in my entire flying poke. He really just did that, huh? He tucked it under me as I was fair play. Let's go laugh. We went from 3-4 to 1-4. Tried to go backhand. I actually thought he was going to have that one. But Gibson had other plans, clearly. If Drysdale scores here, it is over. So hopefully, I can stop him. 
he fooled me real good. Probably also could have poke checked there. You know, not a flying poke check, just your standard run-of-the-mill poke check, but... Didn't really register at the time, so... Anyway, there's always next time. Timothy! I just realized we have another Timothy on the team with Lilligren. There's a great band playing the night before our game. Uh, what is Persuasion? I'll uh, just go with Team Answer, sure. Why not? Neutral. Let's go watch your Little Rock concert, Mitchie. My lineup status still says Injured. I am gonna sim. Oh, the Golden Knights! We gotta play them again. We better be in for this one, or I'm gonna be fuming. Back-to-back -back wins against the Canucks. 5-2 win over the Jets. This is magical. Couple losses in a row. Don't you- uh, They did make it three. They dared to make it three. Oh, sure! Five! Five L's in a row. I love- Six! What is going on? I just don't know what to say anymore. That was the most- We might not make playoffs. We actually might not make the playoffs. I kind of hope we don't make the playoffs. But anyway, Golden Knights, 1-0 for the Knights, 1-0 for the Knights. I would just like to point out that I am currently the highest overall player on the Edmonton Oilers at 92 overall. Mitch Marner, very close at 91, but I couldn't quite get there, could you, Mitch? The Golden Knights have replaced me with Thatcher Demko. 59 goals from Austin Matthews. Guy knows how to score, apparently. I almost want to go back and see if I signed a one- or two-year deal. I, for some reason, feel like it's two, but really hoping it's one? What just happened there? That was weird. Asplund got... Maybe a shot? Would you consider that a shot? They are all over us! That shot will be blocked by their own player. Holloway has it in the corner. Nice. Half-decent breakout, I suppose. We just keep spinning back. That was one of the biggest hits. Followed by that. I know the score says 1-1, but after all of that, we're winning, okay? I also swear to you, if we go into another overtime, this has been the most cursed season of all time. Asplund gets blocker saved. Has it behind the net still, though. Goes in front to Stone. Let's go a weak backhand, smother it. I've had that- the whole situation was under control the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like I'm having an eye spasm right now, and I would really appreciate if it just knocked it off. We are, in fact, running out of time here. Which leads me to believe that another overtime is inbound. I did not look at the Golden Knights record whatsoever, so I have zero clue how this squad is doing. But you know what? The Golden Knights, they- it was a good time. You know? I can't complain. Edmonton, however, so I'm- Kinda hoping that the Golden Knights are actually doing better than us. Just saying. The only reason I left the Golden Knights is because we just couldn't get it done in the playoffs. Plain and simple. And now I'm on a team that can't get it done during the season by the looks of it. Okay, well, I tried to pass that out and it was totally safe, but whatever. Let's go? I thought it was going to be disallowed because he ran into the goalie, but no overtime and... I- we've simmed a bunch of games against the Golden Knights, I believe. I think when I actually jump into the game, though, we are now gonna be 2-0. So, no big deal. Golden Knights, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Nate Mack tries, but has it taken from him. It's still in the slot here. Holloway somehow ends up with it. 15 seconds ago, just enter the- What are you doing? What are you doing?! I mean, you still scored, but... What was all that? It was such an unnecessarily difficult way to get to the end goal. Yeah, my voice, I don't know. 28 shots and only one goal against. Don't mind if I do. Now the question becomes, will we make the playoffs? And again, kind of hoping we don't. Hello? All right, listen, I'll get straight to the point. His point makes no sense, by the way. We're not making the playoffs and I need your help securing a spot. Do you hear yourself speak? I guess what he kind of means is like, we're not currently making the playoffs, but the way it's worded, not a whole lot of sense going on there. And there's a whole storyline behind it with no award whatsoever. How are the Ducks in a wildcard spot? Oh, never mind. That makes sense. Okay, so this is actually a big game. Please lose. P James, I really want us to take an L here. So I'm going to simulate it and watch. And just hope that we lose. Looking like a goalless first period. Yes, it will be 
Goose Egg going in to the second. Power play for the Ducks. We managed to kill it off, unfortunately. Halfway through the game now. Still no goal scored. And as I say that, this is a really important game. And they're starting Bjarnson. What is that? Patrick Kane scores. All right, we won. Yeah. Oh, they actually almost came back. Sadie Milano got one. But unfortunately, we took a dub. We're going to be in the playoffs, aren't we? Yeah. We clinched. Well, that sucks. I can't believe they haven't fixed the whole rookie thing yet. But anyway, a massive 7-1-L to the Calgary Flames. Who is our first round opponent? The San Jose Sharks. Gonna have a conversation with our coach because I told him we were- James! When I'm speaking, you go, shh, we made it. I almost can't believe it. I knew I could count on you. Now go. <laughs> what do you want from me now, Carl? James? All right, let's have a look at the stats. See what's going on now that we have finally stopped being interrupted by our stupid coach and by stupid James. Vancouver finished first in our division. We had 92 points on the season, which somehow got us third in the Pacific in the entire league. Where did we finish? We're probably still top 16. Uh, 15th. So we are right on the brink, and the Ducks made it in as well. President's Trophy goes to the Ottawa Senators. Where are the Golden Knights? Oh boy. Oh no. They did horrible. Marner led the team with 82 points in 78 games. Laffy Taffy played the entire year, put up 78. Kane, 76. Borgo, 64. But we only picked up Kane at the trade deadline. Let's see how he did. Oh, not good. Not good at all. TJ did quite well. 33 wins, 6 shutouts, a 913 save percentage. Thomas, I, guy's not ready. I don't know what ownership is doing, or I guess management, but hey, not my call to make. Jakey O, 41 wins, tied with Igor, and a 918 save percentage. He had himself a year. Rasmus led defenseman with a nice amount of points, and then we've got a tie for second with Heskinen and Brandstrom. Matthews is the only player to break 100 with 104. McDusty puts up 98. Ranton in 97. And yeah, it's pretty safe to say that Matthews gets the Rocket Richard. With 59 tucks, he is actually splitting it with Hattrick Line. The 1 2 picks in 2016. And they are splitting the Rocket Richard here in, what are we in, like 2020? Five, maybe? 26? There's the playoff tree. I will see you in the next video where we take on... Oh! I think it was San Jose that put us out last year. So we have another storyline going on here. Well, anyway, I'll see you then.